Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I'm at the park right now, enjoying this beautiful weather. Um, <clears throat> there's lots of people here, but by this video, you don't see them, but behind me, there's quite a bit of people flying kites and having barbecues and some people are not practicing social dis distancing, so I do see a few people wearing masks though, but it's just like nobody really cares at this point to keep six feet away from each other. Um, so, um, but I'm just down a hill right now, enjoying this beautiful weather. It's about, I would say, 80 degrees. Um, and I'm just enjoying the beautiful nature that God created for us, human beings. <laughs> um, where I'm from, it usually snows quite a bit in this hill, on this hill, but and that's sometime probably during November or December. That's when the snow hits. So yeah, so got lots of people walking, enjoying the the nice breeze and the scorching hot sun. <laughs> I just decided to go out today. Today is the day before Memorial Day, so um, I like coming out and sitting down on the grass and just kind of meditate and reflect on just life and God and how God, by His goodness, created all these things for us and that we, as individuals, should really be mindful of taking care of these beautiful things. People flying kites. Yep. So, I just want to talk about just what's going on in this world. It just seems like nobody is, uh, to me, it seems like nobody really cares about, you know, how things are right now because, you know, they think that everything will come go back to normal but I don't think it's going to be and things are changing I don't think that our economy is going to recover from this a lot of businesses are closing and a lot of people are losing their jobs a lot of people are committing suicide probably depressed and some people may be um, going through mental illness just by the whole isolation lockdown situation I mean for myself I had to get out of the house and just get some fresh air um, <clears throat> so so as I was saying people are 
waiting for their stimulus checks, but as far as I know, I think they were going to send out prepaid visa cards for those people who are eligible and uh, need that assistance to pay their bills and use that money to pay for their rent. Um, I hope that Congress would speed up the process by s having a uh, making a, a decision about what they're going to do next, especially in the month of June, because I'm sure a lot of people haven't paid their rent in May. They need that money, and uh, you know, I have a friend who lives in a big city and she's telling me that there's a lot of people who are going without food right now the food banks are in shortage and they're pleading with people to donate food but then how can they donate food when they don't even have food themselves so um it's just a little frustrating and sad to be honest with you um And my friend, she's pretty nervous and scared because she has a grocery, uh, grocery store nearby her and she says that a lot of people are just like grabbing food and just taking more than they should and hoarding food and it's just, uh, I feel like people are not thinking before they do, they just act before they think. Um, and that is dangerous, I will tell you. That is very dangerous. Uh, sort of like being impulsive. It's not good to be impulsive. Um, uh, I'm hoping this week I can some more outdoor activities um, where I'm from um, school is letting out around June 16th so um, that's two weeks early than expected to close down the school so I'm a little happy about it but at the same time um, I'm a little nervous about um, the fall because I feel like some of the schools are not ready yet to be opened and some may not have a a plan on how to go about doing things you know how are the kids going to stay six feet away from one another I mean that's pretty difficult because children are very uh, flamboyant and they have so much energy and yeah that's going to be really difficult now if they decide to go ahead and do another lockdown then virtual learning would be possible and that would just keep the kids safe um, but I will tell you that for teachers um, all this technology at least for some is very difficult in my case I'm still trying to learn how to navigate through different learning platforms and etc even just trying to stay up to date about the latest technology and if you guys hear a helicopter it's just the military they we have a, a military base close by here and they like to do their drills and I don't know if you can see that let me show you uh, wow there's one helicopter there's two
That's interesting. Wow. That is so cool. Yep. They might be doing some exercises for future lockdowns. I have no idea. But they, they do look beautiful though. I love, I love talking about the military. Uh, I'm a military uh, fan of movies and stuff like that. I love watching military stuff. So anyways, uh, yeah, um, so I have about two months of summer vacation, but I believe those two months, what I'm going to do is just uh, try to prepare and uh, make sure that I'm ready for the fall because um, um, the fall gets really, really bad up here. Um, it snows really, really bad. Um, it gets sometimes to the minuses. So uh, I would say maybe minus three, minus two. Um, but yeah, so, um, taking this opportunity, this window, this door open to do what I need to do. Um, so, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll try to upload some more, but remember, uh, one final thought is that just want to encourage you guys that no matter what happens God is with us and he uh, he never leaves us nor forsakes us when people leave us it's for a reason because God wants to use us and to minister to us and uh, speak to us at that quiet place and um, and I believe there's always a reason for everything God I feel like is always behind things and if you are a son of God, if you are a child of God, then know that he is backing you up, that he is right beside you, that he is walking ahead of you, that he's guiding you and directing your steps. Get into his word, you know, try to study his word, spend some quiet time with him, you know, have that relationship with Jesus because God knows we need this during this time. Uh, a lot of people are fearful of the future and what's going to happen and I think that it's important for us to really trust in God and and pray to him and and just trust that he is with us in the midst of our trials and tribulations that you know and I'm also speaking for for example for like single mothers who have children you know and they're barely making ends meet and just know that God is with you single mothers and uh, as God provided for the widow woman sent Elijah to help her God will help you as well but just stay close with him walk with him because he is your husband now first everything shall be added unto you he's going to take care of you no matter what situation you're in right now I just want to encourage you um, I know because I'm a single mother myself <laughs> so and um, God has really provided for me and showed me that he is with me and um and just cleave unto him, cleave unto God, cleave unto Jesus. So on that note, thank you so much for watching and listening. And I do appreciate your support. Um, I might be just doing more videos like this. I don't know, but, um, but I'll try to um, keep you guys updated on what's going on um, so uh, keep me in prayer and I'll keep you guys in prayer please uh, 
if you want to say something please comment down below uh, put a like on my video even better go ahead and subscribe that would help me so much and uh, I'll talk to you later God bless